Hey y'all, Shay here. Um, thank you so much for joining me for this week's Whip and Chat. Whip, W-I-P stands for work in progress and we're just gonna chat. So let's hang out. Um, let me grab my drink. I got to, uh, I went to McDonald's. Got a Diet Dr. Pepper. Yes, I'm so full. I had a quarter pounder with cheese and large fry. I am very full, but it was so good. Um, it's almost three o'clock here. So my stomach was growling. I'll have to let y'all know what we were up to today. Uh, before we get started though, um, I just wanted to say welcome to those that are new. Thank you so much for being here and for joining the channel. And then for those of you that have come back again, thank you so much for coming back. Um, love that and I really do appreciate it. So my whip is a diamond painting. So go ahead and pull out uh, whatever you wanna work on for the next hour. I typically go about an hour. It is Wednesday for me slash Thursday for y'all. And yeah, let me show you what my current whip is. It's from Craftably and it's releasing fireflies. And it is a round, it's beautiful. It's a Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And for those of you that um, may not know, I'm gonna be hosting an event with Lindsay from Emeralds and Fairy Lights for the month of July. And it does not need to be a new start. So I started on this uh, beautiful painting last week. And this is her legs right here. Actually, let me zoom out and show y'all a little bit of what, what I've got. So yeah, her shoes are right here, her little blue shoes. And then here's her legs. And then I'm right in the good part right here. We've got the fireflies. I've got some glow in the dark. I've got some rhinestones that came with the kit, some ABs. So really, really pretty. So um, that's what the kit I'm working on. And then let me talk about some of the things I'm using. This is a tray from uh, Red Butterfly Resin Gems. And she is one of our sponsors for the event that we're hosting next month. And it does have a JBG image inside. This is resin and I love the way that they slide out and how they line up. It's a really good tray. So this is from Alyssa and she's got an Etsy shop and I'll make sure that I link her down below. I've got a couple different pins going. I've got um, one of my newer pins that I just unboxed recently from Mad Wood Turning. She does have an Etsy shop and there's browns and greens and golds, swirl, I just thought it was beautiful. So I have this and then I also have um, a pen from Diamond Pen Pal and they have the flat edge, the no roll stop. So yeah, I'm gonna be using these two pens. They both have um, micro blue dots in the single tips. I just use the brass tips that come with the pink pens. And then um, I have seven placers in both of them. I got blue wax and pink wax. Um, I meant to put some Randa's putty in there, but I forgot. And all I had next to me was, I have a little tin that I keep and it's got some pink wax and my micro glue dots and some multi-placers. So I didn't have Randa's putty in here, but I also like her putty. And for storage containers, I'm using Elizabeth Ward. Yep, there's 50 colors. And like I said, I'm using little glow in the dark ones that I got free. Yeah, okay. So what else? I think that's, oh, and then my trash tray. It's a little, it's also from Butterfly Resin Gems. It's got a little magnet on the bottom and the overhead light lamp that I use is magnetic, the base. So I just stick it on there. Just a little bit of trash so far, not bad. But this is also resin. So it's really pretty little trash tray. I think that's everything I'm using. All right, let's go ahead and peel back this section. Let me zoom y'all back in a little bit. Whoop. There we go. All right, I'll make sure I'm, I'm even. Okay, hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me peel back this section. And I do use washi tape to section off my, um, my sections. And then I just use a little pen cutter. To, and you can find these on Amazon. It's linked down below. I'll have all the stuff linked down below. All right, let's peel this beauty back. Oh my gosh, y'all. What a fun section. And I didn't plan on this. I just was going, going, going. And um, this is a fairly large painting. Uh, I don't know the size. Let me look. It's a 24 by 32 in inches. So it's a good size. I've got her rolled. She's like laying over the edge of my table. And so I just happened to be on this section when it was time to do the whipping chat. So, all right, there we go. Now you can see. All right, let's grab a pen. And I've got the arrow signal, 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 symbol, y'all. There we go. See, you can see the reflection of my overhead light right here. Right, right. Let me get to it. Where you at? Right here. Yeah, I try not to have it on when I'm filming, but y'all, I can't see if I don't use it. All right, I'm gonna have to pull this down a little bit so I can get closer to me. Y'all, I'm just getting situated. I am so sorry. This is real life, y'all. All right, so. Let me, um, I'll catch y'all up on kind of what's been going on the last week. 
But let me just tell you what's on my mind because I'll tell you what's been going on today. So just got home from McDonald's. And before McDonald's, I took Lou, my nine-year-old, my daughter, I took her and one of her friends. And for those of you that, um, that are new, she's got lots of little friends in the neighborhood and they all play together, but I like some more than others. And this particular friend was one that um, her mother and I, eh, it's all right. I don't, you know, again, you're gonna, some, you're gonna like some people more than others. She's, not, she's just not one of my favorites. So this is the mother that um, rescinded the birthday invitation because they'd gotten into a little disagreement. And I knew that was really right. And there's been other things, but anyways. So that friend, um, they wanted to go to the trampoline park today. And normally I'd be like, sure, no problem. I'll take y'all, I'll pay for it. But I was like, nope, not with this particular one. I was like, um, yeah, you can go if your mom sends you, know, sends you with money. She's like, how much? I'm like, $30. She's like, so she went home and she's like, my mom's gonna Venmo you. I was like, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't, and I don't think that's that's wrong to ask, right? I normally treat like last night. Her daughter was here, the same little girl, and I took him to um, Chipotle, bought her dinner. I'm always feeding the kids, either food from the house or you know grabbing food for them out somewhere. So, um, yeah. So we went to a trampoline park, and we were there for about three hours. Yes, they did, they did it all. It's not just a trampoline park, it's pretty cool. They changed it, it used to be just trampolines, but then they enhanced it with all these other things. There's like a rock wall, there's a zip line, there's a um, like a little ropes course that is like all above, you know, on top of the place. Like, it's really, really fun. And um, Lou and I actually did it together last time we went, because she didn't want to bring a friend. She wanted me to play with her. So this time it was so nice, I was able to sit there um, my butt started to hurt a little bit. That's the thing. If they're going to have benches for parents, which I appreciate they've got, you know, all these benches. It's like picnic tables is the best way I can describe it. And they've got like the, the metal um, benches and the metal tables and they have like the little holes in them. So I had like a waffle, waffle legs on the back of my legs, but I almost wish they were padded or, but maybe they have to do that to keep, you know, to clean things easier. So I guess I can kind of get that now that I'm thinking about it, but not very comfy. But I sat there, I brought my computer and I actually got a lot of stuff done. So, you know, editing videos and everything, I'm really bad about deleting things. And I've noticed that I've been having a hard time lately um, editing videos and uploading stuff. And I think my computer's just like, whoa, way too much stuff. So I actually spent that time cleaning out some files and deleting. So, but I have done this before and I've, I sometimes delete too much. So I hope I don't regret anything. I tried to watch what I was deleting, but I was like, ooh, yeah, just get rid of stuff. Cause y'all, I love to purge. I love to get rid of stuff. So we did that. Speaking of getting rid of stuff, we have, um, you know, from Amazon, we have a ton of boxes on the side of the house. We had a ton of boxes. So um, we have a recycle center in our city where you can just break down all your boxes and you can take them there and they've got all these dumpsters and you can just drop them off. So I tried to fit as much as I could into the trash can. I've kind of let the boxes stack up because every time I go to Costco, you know, they give me a big, you know, give me those big cardboard boxes to put my, my stuff in and then Amazon boxes and just, you know, ordering stuff. So I had a ton, we had, I don't even know how many months worth of boxes on the side of the house. It was bad, so bad to where the dogs were always like sniffing around and I'm like, something is underneath those boxes. I don't know what, I hope it's not a snake you know, but there was definitely something back there because the, the dogs were very, very curious. I was like, I got to take care of this. It's not safe. Someone's going to get bit or I don't know. The dogs are going to get bit by a snake. So I was like, I need to wake up early one morning because it gets so hot here in Texas. You know, it gets up to 100 degrees. So I was like, I'll, I'll set my alarm one morning and I'll get up. Well, y'all, I've been saying that for weeks ever since the kids have been out of school. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a box run. I call it doing a box run. And it's about 10 minutes from our house. And we have a truck, the kid, you know, one of the boys has a truck. So I was like, you know, I can always use the truck. Well, lo and behold, and I didn't even plan on it. It worked out perfectly. I woke up on my own at 6.30 this morning for no reason. I don't know why, but the whole thought of like setting an alarm to get up to break down boxes didn't, you know, it's not something I probably was ever gonna do. <laughs> well, I would have done it at some point, but um, yeah. So I got up and I was like, you know what? I made my coffee and I thought, today's the day. I'm, it's not hot out. It's only like 75 
and you know, I should do it now before it gets too hot. So I put my tennis shoes on because I'm like, if there's a snake out there, I don't want to get bit. I even thought about wearing my um, rain boots, but I was like, no, I'm going to sweat my butt off. My feet are going to sweat my legs. So decided just to go with tennis shoes and I was breaking them down and breaking them down. Everything was good. So I made one run, loaded up the truck and made a run over there and dropped off a load and then came back and it was time to get to the bottom. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm scared. So while doing that first load, the first thing I saw was a gecko and like a little lizard and it scared me. I screamed. It just scurried out when I was moving a box. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Then there was a frog that scared me, but then it came time to move the very last box of the pile. And so far so good, right? I wasn't seeing anything except for the gecko and the, the you know, the, the frog. I was like, okay, I can handle this. Well, I decide to kick the box with my foot first just to see if anything was gonna move from underneath it. Good thing I did. Cause I got my shoe and I kicked, I barely kicked it. I, I kicked it real gentle, which was probably a mistake. Something furry was back behind the box and it started moving, but not, I didn't scare it enough to where it like ran off. It just like moved and I'm like, oh my God, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's something back behind there. It looked like a rat. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's a rat back there. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Sorry, I had to pause. My husband came up to my craft room and he never comes up here. I was like, oh, hi. And he just came to say hi. So he sat up here and we were chatting. So where did we leave off? I think I was talking about the rat or what, what I thought was a rat. So like I said, I kicked the box ever so gently, which was kind of a mistake. And then um, something moves, but not all the way out. It just kind of moves. And then I kicked it again, a lot harder. And y'all sure enough, a big old rat with a big old long tail came scurrying out from under the, that box. I freaked out. I ran away <laughs> and I saw it crawl up the fence. Like it went on the little pole and then it's scurrying across the top of the fence. I was so grossed out y'all. I was like, oh my gosh, no. So then I was totally paranoid the rest of the time when I was breaking down the boxes because I thought, Okay, I may have picked up all the boxes, but what if there's still something in one of these boxes and it's been sitting here for a while? So I have definitely learned my lesson. I was just telling my husband about the rat because he was sleeping this morning when it happened and he's been working all morning on conference calls. So I was just telling him about it, but he goes, yeah, we need to uh, not let those boxes stack up. I'm like, yep, I learned my lesson. It was very scary. It, you know, it's, not, it's not safe, right? Like I said, the dogs are back there. There's kids. I mean but we don't want rats. He's like, where did it go? Which way? I'm like, is he gonna go out there and try to find the rat? I mean, really? That was like, how many hours ago? It's gone. I said, I don't know. I don't know which way it went. I was scared. I ran away. I just saw it run up the fence, but I don't. I didn't see which way it went. I, I was looking, but I didn't see which way. I never saw it anymore. So I don't know if it jumped back down, maybe into our neighbor's yard, but y'all, I was scared. Yep, a little rat. So, and then there was another gecko. So I had, there was geckos, rats, and frogs back behind there. So I went and did the second drop off, went over there again. And then after I dropped it off, um, I was feeling all accomplished. I'm like, yeah, I got rid of the boxes. Now I still need to go to the dump to get rid of like some things that we don't want anymore. Like there's like an old, you know, stool that Lou has that got makeup all over it, like a little white furry, hairy stool. Um, it's like shag carpet, almost like that's got makeup all over, you know, like stuff we just need to get rid of. The boys both had hoverboards years and years and years ago that they got that they don't use them anymore. And I don't think they work. So stuff like that, you just can't, you can't take to a recycle center. You got to take it to like a, a, dr a drop off, like a dump. I could give them away, but these things don't even work and they're not in good shape. So it's not like a donation thing. So I was going to do that, but I was like, after I did those two runs, I'm like, okay, so, and the truck was really, really dirty. Because, of course, you know, the boys don't wash it. Well, Nate's not officially driving yet, but that will be his truck. But Ryan's been using it because the Porsche needs to be um, worked on because it's been smelling kind of weird. So he's not driving the old Porsche right now. And so he, um, he's been driving the truck. And, y'all, I got in with my coffee on that first run. 
and it, it's so bad. I don't know why I was surprised. I mean, I know what his room looks like. Now, I'm talking about my 17-year-old, Ryan. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. There was not a cup, ho cup holder free because he had cans. You know, he works at Cane's, you know, the fast food place. There was Cane's cups everywhere, for, I guess after work. And then there was like, you know, Chick-fil-A cups. There was soda cans, straw wrappers, just money in the money in one of the cup holders. So y'all, I took that money. I was like, let me help you clean, your, clean out your car. So I stopped at the car wash and I got the outside washed. It's where you stay in your car and you just kind of run it through. And then I pulled over afterwards and uh, I just emptied it out. And I got like a little um, car freshener that you can hang on the, the window. Got that, it came with the wash. So yeah, and then after that, I put gas in his truck. Yeah, I was feeling generous. I was feeling nice this morning. So he already had half a tank. And so I have an electric vehicle and I cannot tell y'all the last time I got gas because I don't even know how long I've had my car now. Six months maybe? I'm not sure. I'm bad with that stuff, y'all. And so I haven't had to get gas. And so I really haven't been feeling the pain. And I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, half a tank, not that big a deal. Oh yeah, in a truck, it was expensive. And I didn't really realize how, I mean, I know I've been hearing everybody talk about, and I see the signs, I know how expensive gas is now, but I haven't been feeling the pain personally because I have an electric vehicle and we just plug it in in the garage. So, but yeah, so I got his truck washed. I, um, like I said, put gas in it, got some boxes dropped off. So I was, I was good. And I got home and it was about 10 o'clock, about 9.30. And uh, I was feeling good. So then I was really hungry. So I ate something and then I just laid, on, laid down and just like, cruise internet and stuff. And I was like, I need a break. And then that's when Lou comes up to me and she's like, mom, cause we did talk about it yesterday about me taking her and her friend to, um, the trampoline park. So got that done. So it's been a day y'all. It's been a busy day. I'm waiting to crash, but it hasn't happened yet. Actually, after I ate McDonald's, I was feeling really, really sluggish. And I was like, Oh, I don't know. Cause I was like, if I lay down, I'm going to be done for like a couple hours. I'm not going to like, I'm going to just you know, I just got to keep going. I said, I'm going to go up and do my whip and chat. And that way, you know, I won't stop moving for too long. So, cause when I ate, I sat down and watched TV and I could feel myself just kind of drifting. And I'm like, Nope. And my husband just asked me when he came up here, he's like, why'd you wake up at six 30? I'm like, I don't know. I just did, but it was a good thing. I was, I got some stuff done before it got blazing hot. It's a hundred degrees out today. Well, that's what the car said when we were out earlier. So, and the trampoline park was super busy because I'm sure, you know, everyone's trying to find indoor activities for their kids because, you know, you can't really play outside. It's not safe. We were driving by a soccer complex where we live and coming back from the trampoline park and they're having like a soccer tournament and there was all these kids. I mean, they're older. They look like high schoolers. They're out there playing soccer in the heat and there was all these like parents watching and I was like, oh my gosh, that's, that looks miserable and so dangerous. I'm surprised, you know, they don't cancel that stuff when it gets to, you know, certain temperatures, but yeah. All right, so that was kind of what happened today. Let's rewind a little bit and go back to last week. Where did we leave off? So let's see, I saw y'all last on my Wednesday, your Thursday. I took some notes over here, let me see what happened. Okay, so um, Thursday of last week, um, Lou had one, two, three, four four girls over at the house. They just kind of multiply and they just all kind of show up. The doorbell, the doorbell keeps ringing. What happens is um, one of the girls that lives in the neighborhood, it's always neighborhood kids, right? Cause they're just leaving their house and just popping over. There's no like moms talking and dropping people off. It's just the kids coming by. Well, one of the girls um, always has another little girl from outside the neighborhood playing at her house. And they always come over like in a pair. So she always tends to bring another little girl with her that doesn't live in the neighborhood. So normally um, Lou's best friend is over here and then you have a little girl that always brings a friend. So then all of a sudden it's four. It's like, how'd that happen? So they were all over here uh, and they were making a mess in the kitchen. And I guess they were doing some kind of challenge where you had to, I don't even know what, we, what they were doing y'all. I was halfway listening, trying to keep them quiet while my husband's trying to work. All I know is Lou's asking me, where's the hot sauce? And I guess whoever had lost the challenge that they were doing, um, oh, I know what it was. The challenge was you had to stay, um, you couldn't get up for, whoever got up first, that's another thing. They set up in the living room and they had 
snacks and drinks. It was like a 24 hour challenge where you had to like stay put. They had blankets. They totally turned our entire, li entire living room into like a fort. I was so mad. I was upstairs. I didn't even know what was happening. So <laughs> I was in my craft room. I come down. I'm like, what the heck? It was almost like, like a movie night, right? Four little girls had set up because they thought they were going to stay there. Y'all, they I don't even know how long they stayed there. It wasn't very long, probably like 30 minutes. And they got bored and they all got up. Well, I guess whoever got up first lost the challenge. And you had to eat hot sauce. Now, Lou doesn't do spicy stuff. She's nine. So we're not really there yet, you know. So they were like, get the sriracha. What else do you have? And so they got the Cholula. They were taking spoonfuls, squirting sriracha in a spoon and eating spoonfuls. And then spitting it out in the sink, uh, grabbing the milk, drinking the milk. Of course, not from the not from the jug, but not you know, but from, with the cup, and I'm just watching it all, going, "What is happening? What exactly is happening here, y'all?" So I finally kicked them out, and um, um, oh, <laughs> before I kicked them out, let me tell y'all what happened. I just saw my notes. How could I forget? Well, it's been a week, so <laughs> all right. I kicked them out of the house and told them they need to go play outside, but of course, it's a million degrees out, right? Um. So the option is to go swimming because we have a pool. So I was like, y'all need to get out of the house. Dad's trying to work. So they all go swimming. So then there's four girls screaming and hollering and having a good old time in the pool, jumping around. Well, thank God I was in the kitchen. I decided to unload the dishwasher. And I, whenever they're in the pool, I don't feel right being up here in my craft room because it's upstairs kind of isolated. It's good and bad. And that's what I was worried about when we decided to do a craft room up here. I was like, oh, I don't know. I won't really know what's going on. Because when the door shut, like right now, I can't hear the doorbell ring. I can't hear anything. It's like I'm totally secluded up here. So um, so they, I told them to go play outside. So they're all swimming in the pool. And like I said, I decided to unload the dishwasher. And I was keeping an eye on them and just watching them. And, you know, because they're not my kids. And I know they can all swim. So that's not the problem. It's just, you know, making sure they're safe and they're okay. And they're not being silly. So I was, you know, kind of watching them and unloading the dishwasher. And all of a sudden I heard a scream. Now they had been screaming, but it was like a pain scream. It wasn't like having fun scream. And I was like, uh, what is going on? So I look out the window and one of the little girls is screaming at the top of her lungs and holding her foot. And she's just saying something and screaming and crying. And all the other girls are like jumping out of the pool and they're freaking out. And I run out there. I'm like, what's going on? Is everything okay? And the little, I can't even understand the little girl. She was in so much pain. And I was like, okay, did she get stung by a wasp? Because there's a lot of wasps when you have a pool. Or did she, you know, um, get stung by a bee? I just, I, wouldn't, I didn't know what was going on. She was in the water. And she's holding her foot. And then finally I understand. And then one of the girls was like, she stepped on something. And I was like, oh my gosh. Now we don't allow um, glass or anything outside the drinks that we do that we allow are just you know cans or bottles there's no um you know plastic bottles there's no no glass because we never want you know anyone to ever step on it so i was like did she step on a piece of glass how is that possible so finally she tells me i stepped on an earring oh my gosh one of the other little girls i look over and one of the little girls has a big old stud a big old earring and it's missing I was like, oh my gosh. So I told little girl, come on, let me help you. I help her get out of the water. I'm like, have a sit down, sit down, let me see. And she's screaming. Oh my gosh. And I was like panicked. And so I, I said, let me see your foot. And so I picked it up and I'm looking at the little girl's earring that's, you know, that's missing one and it's big. And she's like, I stepped on it. It's all the way through my foot. And I hope y'all don't, aren't squeamish. If you are, you might not want to listen to the rest of it. It's not bad, but y'all, I, I don't do well with blood. Oh, or like emergency situations, I kind of freeze, but I was proud of myself. I stepped up, nurse, nurse Nancy to the, to the rescue. Cause normally it's Dr. Dad that handles, all, you know, that kind of stuff. But Dr. Dad was on a phone call. So nurse Nancy was like, I got this. Dun, 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 dun. So I told her to sit down and I grabbed her foot and I look and sure as shit y'all, the entire back of the earring, which I'm making it look really big if, if you look at the screen, but it was like, you know, it's a big old earring, a big old stud, like a big diamond or something. It was fake. And then um, it wasn't like a little dainty earring. And then the back was really, really long. And all I could see in the bottom of her foot was just that earring. I could not see any of the back. And I was like, oh my gosh. So my instinct was to pull it out. 
right? I mean, she's screaming and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to pull it out. Um, I, yeah, I pulled it out, pulled it out. And I was like, oh my God, that's really long. It wasn't in her foot. Well, it was in her foot, but it was, um, underneath her big toe and that's where it was stuck. So it wasn't like in the ball of her foot or in the meat of her foot. It was like under, like where her toes are. So as soon as I pull it out, it starts bleeding. Blood's going everywhere. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And she's freaking out. And I'm trying not to freak out because I don't want to scare her. So I get her up. I, and y'all, the girls have scattered. The other little girls are like gone. They're freaking out and they're super scared. I mean, I look over and Lou's like, not just at the other end of the pool, but like on the other side of the hot tub on the other side of the pool, like hiding. They're all freaking out and they didn't know what to do. So they were absolutely no help. So I was going to ask them to help me grab a towel, but I was like, hold on, let me get a towel. So I wrapped a towel around her and then I grabbed another towel and I wrapped it around her foot so it would stop bleeding. And while she's crying and I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. She's like, I want my parents. So I call her mom and her mom's like, I'll be right there because the little girl lives in the neighborhood. And she, um, she, the mom like took forever. I'm like, what is going on? So all the, the three other girls run up, run up. I'm like, y'all go up front and y'all let me know when, cause she couldn't walk on it when her mom's here and I'll bring her up front. I'll carry her up front. We're waiting and waiting. I'm like, what's taking, I mean, they live in our neighborhood, like up the street. I'm like, what is taking her mom so long? Her mom pulls up and this is, this is the mom, <laughs> the mom. Yeah, she pulls, pulls up here. Hey, I'm like, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't scare you. She's like, no, um, I had to change. I just got home from work. So she had like some jean shorts on and looking all cute. And I'm like, you had to change. Are you serious? If someone would have called me up and been like, your kid's hurt. I would have been like, like there, right? Let me grab a little sip of my soda. So I'm like blown away, but I'm really not, right? Because it's the mom. And I was like, okay, whatever makes makes sense actually so all right i think i'm done with this color y'all i'm just double checking okay we're gonna switch colors that's a purple okay so her mom nonchalantly gets out of the car kind of walks over and i carried the little girl out and she was all wet and i was all wet because i had to she's little she's really petite so no issues there i carried her out we're standing in the driveway and her you know i'm even holding her kid when she pulls up and she doesn't even seem worried so she gets out of her car and she's like are you okay? And I'm like, and I tried not to say anything in front of her daughter because I didn't want to scare her, but I was like, yeah, it's, um, it was, it was pretty good. It was, it was in there and it, it was deep. Cause I wanted her to know the severity of it and kind of what was going on, but not be too graphic. And I was like, yeah, it, it, it was a good one. It, it really got stuck in there. And I tried to explain, you know, how big the earring was and what happened. And she looked at her daughter and she's like, honey, she's like, do you want to stay? Yo, are you serious? Are you serious? Now at this point it had stopped bleeding, right? It wasn't bleeding as bad. And yeah. So, and the little girl's like, yeah, I don't wanna go home yet. I wanna keep playing. And her mom's like, okay, well, go, go ahead, go play, have fun. <laughs> I was like, what the heck just happened? I was just put in a panic. And oh, and I never got to tell y'all. Whenever all this is going down and the little girl's screaming, Luz, Luz says to me, mom, do you want me to go get dad? And I was like, nope, I got this, I got this, I got this. But she felt like she needed Dr. Dad. So I was proud of myself. I couldn't wait to like tell my husband later on. I'm like, honey, this is what happened. And I did it. I did it, I stepped up. He's like, what happened? So I told him y'all, but yeah, that little girl stayed. And you know what they did? Got right back in the pool. Then they say to me, Miss Shay, do you think the back of the earrings and the bottom of the pool, do you think it's gonna hurt? I was like, oh, I don't know at this point, but it's such a little, tiny little back of an earring, like the, the little back. So I asked the little girl, I'm like, is it a plastic little back? Is it like a steel metal? I mean, she's like, I don't know. And I'm like, why don't we take that, your other earring off if you're gonna go back in the pool? So she takes it out, puts it on the table. And I put the one that I pulled out of the foot on the table. I'm like, so during all this commotion, I called the mom right when I was in the backyard and I carried the daughter up front. Well, I went back into the front, the front door. I didn't go back into the backyard. So I don't know, four or five hours later, Lou comes in, she was swimming again. They they swam like for, for a long time. She comes back in the house and my husband's like, honey? I'm like, yeah, I was upstairs. He goes, are you missing something? I was like, no, I don't think so. I'm like, what's up? He goes, your phone 
you left it outside in the sun. I was like, oh my gosh, it's 100 degrees, y'all. I was like, did I just burn up my phone? Uh, yeah, and, and the panic and all the, all, the, all the stuff that was going on, I left my phone out on the table. And it was in the blazing sun for hours. And it wasn't even turning on. It was like fried, right? And I thought, oh my gosh, this is a fairly new phone. I haven't had it all that long. And it's one of the newer ones. I'm like, oh my gosh. And this is what I used to film and to do everything. Well, that's what we're filming on still. So these phones are amazing. I have an Apple. I have an iPhone. Um, my husband's like, let's just let it cool down. It may take a couple hours, but let's just let's see what happens. And I kept touching it. It was burning up. It was on fire. I was like, oh my gosh, I just fried my phone. So um, I waited it in about an hour. I went down, I'm like, how's it doing? It's like a patient, right? You're like checking in on the patient. How's it doing? He goes, oh, it's turning on, but I wouldn't mess with it. Let's let it sit for a little bit longer. I'm like, okay. And then I waited another hour and I was like, how's it doing? How's she doing? And um, you don't really realize how important your phone is until you think it might be dead, you know? or you lose it, it's scary. We're so connected to our phones. And it turned back on and it works and never noticed any problems. So knock on wood. Yeah, so that was that day. Anything else happened? No, I don't have any other notes for that day. <laughs> that was a crazy day, y'all. But I was proud of myself because I stepped up and did what I had to do, which is what I figured would happen. I just feel like I'm gonna freeze, you know, and panic, but I didn't. So that was Thursday. And this is the same little girl that's over the house right now. So yeah, so. Um, so Friday, um, I spent the day doing chores. Laundry, I washed the sheets on the bed. Um, and there was a reason why I did all this stuff because I was gonna be busy on Saturday. So I was kind of like, you know, I had motivation because I'm like, my friend's coming over, we're gonna hang out all day Saturday and I'm gonna get my chores done. So um, that was great motivation. I, I cleaned the house, got everything kind of, cause she was coming over. Y'all, Randy came over. And Randy is, you can call me Butter, for those of you that don't know. Um, and she is my BFF. So we got to hang out. She came over, um, I don't even know. Oh, y'all, it was really early. She came over about eight o'clock in the morning, 7.38. Y'all, I feel like so much has gone on since then. I'm starting to forget what happened these days. Good thing I take notes. Um, she came over early because we were meeting someone else from the community that was going to be in town. Yeah, I got a message from her. Now, her name on YouTube is Rain, R-A-I-N-N-E. -N -N -E, but her real name in real life is, I, may, I hope I don't pronounce it. I, if I pronounce it wrong, don't be mad at me if you're watching, if you're listening. Um, Shalin, Shalin, I think that's how you say it. Because I know it's not Shaylin. I think it's Shaolin. Um, yes, she lives in Arkansas. And they were coming into town to see Craftably and go camping. And she wanted to meet Randy and I. So we met her and her three kids. They were so fun. We met them at Starbucks at about, I think it was like 9 o'clock in the morning, I think it was. 8.30 or 9. Yeah, I think it was 9. So Randy came over around 8.30. She brought her diamond painting. So we got everything set up upstairs first. And um, then headed over there to the Starbucks. And they were so sweet. She was like, no, we can meet by you. And I was like, oh, you're so sweet. You don't mind? She's like, nope. So, so easy going. We had such a good time. It's so fun to meet people in the community. That's why, like, people that went to the retreat, I see how much fun they're having. And that's what it's like meeting someone. So I hope, you know, everyone out there at some point gets an opportunity, if you're interested, and, you know, meeting someone in the community. Because it's so fun to talk about you know, diamond painting and, you know, she knew she's been following Randy and I for a while. So she knew a lot about us. And so we got to know her and her three kids were so sweet. She has, um, her daughter is 12 and then she's got two boys, 12 and I think eight or nine. Y'all it's been a week already. So I've, I'm, I'm getting kind of rusty, but yeah, they were just adorable. Absolutely adorable. So that was so fun. So we hung out there for about an hour and a half and had coffee and just visited and she showed us her phone and like pictures on her phone of like, you know, her complete paintings and what she's been working on. She's only been diamond painting since October. So, and she's hooked y'all, she is hooked. So, and she got a chance to, they were gonna be going to uh, Craftably after they left us and we did follow up, but you know what we forgot to do? And she sent us a message right after we left and we were almost home. And she was like, I forgot to get a picture with y'all. And we're like, oh man. So I would show y'all a picture, but we didn't even take one. We were just visiting and, you know, having a great time and we forgot to even, you know, get a picture. So, I'm so bummed. 
So she'll just have to come back. Yeah, so sweet. Really, really, really enjoyed meeting her. And she's just a really cool person and has a lot of like, it's amazing what people have done. I told her, I'm like, you need to start a channel. And she's like, I've been thinking about it. I'd like to. I was like, you need to. She's such a cool person and has so, she's done so much in her life. I would love to hear more. And I know y'all would too. I'd love it. So hopefully she does that. So if you're listening, hello. I'm just going to call you Rain if you're okay with that. I know we talked about that because Rain, I can figure out. But your name is a tricky one, girl. I keep wanting to say Shay because of me, but I know it's not. You said it's spelled just like it sounds that still doesn't help. So I'm, I'm bad y'all. All right. So that was, so Saturday. Yep. So we went and did that. And then about 10 30, we headed out, came home and then we were all getting hungry. We had coffee, but we didn't eat. So, um, and Lou had spent the night at her best friend's house. So Lou wasn't home and we kind of planned it that way. That way, you know, when Randy came over, we could go have coffee and Lou wouldn't be here and, you know, she wouldn't be bugging anybody. And, you know, my husband wouldn't have to worry about that. So, um, yeah, we came back and it was about 1030 and we decided my husband and, uh, Randy and I, we went and had brunch at, um, the, our favorite brunch place. And actually we went there and my husband was going to meet us, but when we got there, they said it was going to be an hour wait. So we put our name in and it's really close to our house. So we just decided to come back home. I called him and we're like, Oh, it's going to be an hour wait. We're really hungry. He's like, why don't y'all just come back diamond paint? And then whenever they call us, we'll just run up there. I was like, all right, that works. So they finally called and we headed up there about 1130 and we had a great, great brunch. It was so, so fun to have my husband hanging out, you know, with us. So we all ate and what did I get? Oh, I got eggs Benedict. Um, I got the California Benny. It's got like avocados in it. So good. And they're both gluten-free, but what's cool about this place is they have gluten-free uh, bread and they have a lot of gluten-free options. And the hash browns are really good. So yeah, we had more coffee and then um, went, yeah, and just did brunch. So by the time that was all said and done, it was about 1230 and we're like, okay, we need to go dye and paint. So Randy and I came back and we kind of set up in the craft room and we were up here till, oh gosh, I don't know. She left around four, I think. So we got some, I mean, that's why I've made a lot of progress on this painting. I was able to get this whole first row, the bottom row finished that day. So it was great. And we had so much fun, y'all. Um, we had a great time. So we did that. And then Lou, you know, was being pretty good. She came in here a few times and, you know, she loves Randy and Randy loves her. And Lou had her best friend with her and they would come up and, you know, talk to us. And, um, but yeah, we got to dime paint. It was great. Y'all look at these, um, rhinestones. It's like a gold, like a yellow. So pretty. Craftably, with a lot of their round paintings, they do have rounds. I mean, uh, rhinestones. It's rounds and rhinestones. So, um, once Randy was getting ready to go, Lou could tell that she was getting ready to leave. And Lou's like, can we go get boba? And I was like, mm, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Well, we're getting ready to go to boba. Her and I was going to take... So, I said bye to Randy. And then she was going to go have dinner with her mom. So, she had to head out. That's why she... Because, like, she had to be over there around 5.30 or 6. So, she... Had to head out at four. She would have stayed longer. I told her, I'm like, I don't want you to leave. So, but we had a good time. So she left and Lou's like, can we go get Boba? And I said, like, sure. So we're on our way to go get Boba and her and her best friend are like, you know what? We don't want Boba. I'm like, oh, y'all, what do you want now? We want Starbucks. I had already been to Starbucks, right? I was like, all right. <laughs> y'all, you know, I can't say no. I have a hard time saying no. Plus it's Starbucks. I was like, yeah, that sounds pretty good. So I had Starbucks again. Yeah. I was fired up that day, y'all. I was wired up. So I had another Starbucks. We brought it home, got my husband one because he didn't have one with us in the morning. So I had Starbucks. And then I think her friend, maybe it's spent the night. They all start to run together. There's so many sleepovers. So many. Um, and of course, Ryan worked on Saturday. Um, he actually got off early for the first time. I was surprised. Randy and I were here in the craft room and I hear his voice and I'm like, it was only about like two or it was like about two 30 and he normally works till five. I've never seen him get off early and he comes in. I'm like, is everything okay? I thought maybe he got fired or something. He's like, no, they, they let a couple of us go. We had too many people. I was like, oh, okay. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Cause he's working like about 30, what do you say? About 35 hours as it is right now. 
So he's working a lot. He normally works all day Saturday and Sunday, and then he closes um, most other days. So yeah, he's getting some work, some hours in, and he's having, he's doing good. And of course, Nate's, you know, super chill. So for those of you that are new, Nate is my 15 year old. He'll be 16 in August. And then um, my 17 year old is Ryan and he's driving of course, and he'll be a senior next year and Nate will be a, a sophomore. And then um, Lou turns 10 in August and she's going into the fourth grade. So yes, they keep me on my toes. That and the two dogs and the bunny and the hamster. Oh my gosh, y'all. We got rid of the frogs. Well, the frogs died, but and no fish. We've already been down the fish route. All right, so that was, sorry y'all, I got I got lost in the pits. Um, so that was Saturday, good, good, good day. And then I don't really what, remember what else happened Saturday night. We went out to dinner, I think, if I remember right. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. Um, so then Sunday, I had my, um, my live. So thank you all for, you know, for showing up. Those of you that came, um, for those of you that aren't aware, I do go live, um, most, most every, every Sunday, unless something comes up like father's day or, you know, I didn't go live, but I normally go live every Sunday from four to 5 PM central standard time. So I'd love to have you lives are so much fun. Now, of course, a lot of us do know each other, but it's okay if you don't know us you're not, you're not, you're not going to get to know anyone unless you show up and start talking, right? You can even lurk. I'm the biggest, and I know we talked about this during the live, and people always kind of give me a hard time. I'm the biggest lurker when it comes to lives, and I, I, I almost treat it like a whipping chat, right? I forget that I can talk back, and I just kind of sit there and diamond paint and just kind of listen and enjoy the enjoy the you know time with people. But a lot of times I don't say anything. So, anyways, uh, live was super fun. Took um, Lou and her friend to um, the dollar store before the live. And I really embarrassed Lou, which was so funny. So I'm having a hysterectomy on July 7th. And the doctor told me that I need to get some pads because there might be some spotting. I was like, okay, I don't have any because I've had an uh, IUD put in uh, Marina. I've had that for years. I've had a couple of them. And so I haven't had, you know, to worry about any of that. So I don't have anything. And so um, he, uh, so I had to get some of those. And I was, I had him in the cart and she was so embarrassed. <laughs> Lou was like, um, what are those? I'm like, pads. She's like, oh my gosh, cover them up. And so she wanted to cover them up with like some of the candy and I bought some other stuff. Some, I was like, oh, seriously? So then I kept like pulling out the pads and like asking her about them, like as we were walking around the dollar store. But it's so fun to embarrass them, y'all. And then in the car, I threw them at her in the back seat and they landed on her, in her lap. And she's like, ew, put those away. I don't want to see those. So I just need to put them on her bed or something and keep messing with her. But yeah, so fun to mess with them. So I took them to the dollar store, did that. And then um, Monday, I had my um, pre-op appointment with my doctor, with my surgeon. And let's see, that appointment was, uh, it was kind of early. It was like at 8.40 in the morning. So I had to get up early, set the alarm. I took a shower because I didn't know if there was gonna be an exam. I was trying to be polite, you know, just in case. So, but they, there was no exam needed. And as soon as I walked in the room, she was like, you can have a seat in the chair. So I didn't have to sit on the table. I was like, oh, okay, guess we're not, we're not doing that today. Um, it was just going to be a visit to talk to him and, um, answer any questions that I might have. So, um, I did find out that my surgery is scheduled, um, for a good time. Actually, it's scheduled for 10 AM and we have to be there an hour and a half beforehand. You know, it seems like normally surgeries are like, you know, the butt crack of dawn, right? You have to get up at like five in the morning and nope. So my husband, you know, was happy about that. I was happy about it because I probably won't be able to sleep um, the night before. I know I probably won't, Rob probably won't sleep because um, I have to stop taking certain medications a day or two before. And some of those meds help me sleep. And so I'm going to be off, off kind of, you know, my schedule and it's going to be weird. So I doubt I'm going to be able to sleep, but plus I'll be nervous. So all went well there. He um, mentioned a bunch of scary risks and I even told him like, you're scaring me. He's like, I know, I'm sorry. He goes, but I have to tell you all these things that could happen. I was like, all right, all right, all right. So they're just removing the cervix and the uterus. They're going to leave the ovaries because, you know, with my age, they don't want to put me in menopause yet because he's like, let's wait, you know, no reason to force that. I was like, okay. 
So for now, those are gonna stay. And um, he called in a prescription. He's like, I'm gonna call in some hydra, hydrocordone. I think that's how you say it. It's the pain medicine. He goes, I want you to go pick that up at the pharmacy so you'll have that on hand. So y'all, I've got my pads. I've got my hydrocordone. I, I don't know how to say that, y'all. Hydrocordone, uh, codone. Oh, codone. I think that's what it is. Hydrocodone. Yeah. And I've got that. So I told my husband, I said, I think I'm all set. So, yep. Uh, let's see. I don't even know what day of the week it's going to be because I know Friday is the 1st, July 1st. Um, so, yeah, sometime next week. I haven't really been focusing on it too much. You know, Lou keeps me busy. You know, the friends, the kids, the you know, the channel, just all the things, just keep me busy. So that was Monday. And then Monday night, um, Lou asked if I could take her and her best friend to a revolving sushi place. It's a revolving sushi bar and they've got the sushi on the belt and it just kind of goes around the restaurant. It's so fun. It doesn't have the best sushi. So no one else wanted to go with us. My husband's like, no, I'm good. Y'all go ahead. Nate didn't want to go. Rai was at work, I think. And so, um, yeah, I took the girls and it was the weird, weirdest thing. They have a robot and the robot delivers your drinks. So we never even saw a waiter. You just put your order in on the screen at your table. And then this robot comes up playing music and it's got your waters on there on a tray and you just pull your drinks off. It was really weird. And then you pay from the screen. So yeah, no tip because there was no one to tip. So we did that and we ate so much sushi. And after that, they wanted to go to Daiso. Now, Daiso, I've done a shopping with Shay there. I think I did. Um, it's a Japanese, the best way I can describe it is like a Japanese dollar store. And what's the equivalent of that? Not everything's a dollar, but a lot of things are. And let me see, I think I got that color. So we, uh, they wanted to go in there and I was like, but girls, I have my Patreon Zoom. So I do, um, for certain tiers, I do, um, we have once a month, the last Monday of the month, we do a, uh, a Zoom call. And I had to be on the Zoom. And we had about 30 minutes. And I was like, girls, I can't. Well, we got lost in Daiso looking at stuff and getting, I was like, oh my gosh, my call's in like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. So I tried not to go too fast, but I was like, okay, if I'm a few minutes late. So they were the best. Everybody was on. I'm not everybody can make it, but you know, those of you that, you know, those of you that wanted to join were on and we always have so much fun. It's like a, you know, I was thinking about it and I was like thinking about Patreon and you know, it's a, we have a community here in the, there, we have a diamond painting community, right? And we're all getting to know each other and it's very close knit, but the Patreon, my Patreon at least is almost like a sub community of that. And I've gotten to know those people even, even more. So it's really, really fun. Um, now if you are interested in joining my Patreon, I'm just going to say it because it's almost the first. Um, like I said, the first is on Friday and you're going to be seeing this Thursday. If you are interested in joining my Patreon, I would love to have you. It gives me an opportunity to get to know you better. You get to see, you know, behind the scenes stuff with me and my family, stuff that I don't show with everybody else, um, or share, I should say. Um, it's, uh, like I said, it's really a, a tight knit, you know, personal community. And I've become really good friends with a lot of those folks. So I love it. And, but I was going to say is, on the first is when they charge you. They charge you the first of every month. So if you are interested, do not sign up today, but you can sign up on Friday if you're interested. There's all kinds of different tiers with different um, benefits. And if you're not familiar with what a Patreon is, that's just a, um, it's a monthly subscription is the best way I can describe it. It's a way to support me and my family and the channel. And you know, it gives me an opportunity because I don't work. You know, This is only the, the, all, all the income that I have. And so I really do appreciate, you know, the folks that I do have on there and I would love to have you. So please come join if you can. No pressure. I just thought I would throw it out there. You know, I only really try to talk about it uh, at the beginning of the month. So, or close to the beginning of the month. All right. Um, so that was, so we did the Zoom call, but I was a few minutes late and I was like, oh no. But everybody was so sweet. They were already kind of visiting and chatting and talking. They were very understanding. I was about five minutes late. I felt awful y'all. Cause that's not like me to be late. And I was like, Lou, you made me late. <laughs> So um, we talked for about an hour and they normally go to about an hour, hour and a half. And yeah, so we visited. That was really, really fun. So we did that Monday. And then um, yesterday, you know, I don't even remember what I did yesterday. Isn't that weird? I, I was going to tell y'all, but I'm like, I don't know. No clue. I don't even remember. I guess nothing really. Or if it was something I would have, I don't know. I just didn't take any notes. No clue. 
I'm sure it was very exciting. Probably just dealing with kids, I think. Yeah, probably. And then um, today we did Urban Air and I told you all about that and the red. So I think that's gonna be it. Um, I don't wanna go too long. You know, I just don't wanna, I don't wanna talk y'all's ear off and just be talking to talk. So I hope y'all got some work done or got some rest. Sometimes I'll just lay in bed and listen to whipping chats or on the TV. So yeah, I hope y'all had a good time. Thank you so much again for joining me. Um, it means the world to me, you know, and y'all don't even, you don't have to join Patreon. It's just, you know, if y'all just comment, like, and subscribe is really all I could ever ask for, you know, and that's all free. So, um, speaking of subscribing, I have a goal. I have a goal and I was going to tell y'all about the goal because hopefully, hopefully you can help me meet that goal. Um, I'm really close to 3k subscribers, 3000 subscribers. And I've had a goal in mind for a few months now. And I'm like, okay, I would like to maybe try to hit 3K by the end of July. But I don't know, y'all. I just got to 29. And so I don't know if 100 in a month is probably a little aggressive. But hey, you know, you got to reach, right? You got to reach for the stars. So I'm reaching. Um, I actually purchased something already because I hope I'll get there at some point. Um, I purchased something and I just got it in the mail today for the 3K giveaway. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but I... Um, and if it doesn't happen, I'll just keep it. So <laughs> it's something I would love. And I was like, do I want this for my son? No, I'm gonna do it for a giveaway. It's gonna be for 3000 subscribers. So if y'all wanna help me get to reach that goal and you have not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you. Uh, like I said, it's free. You just have to click on the subscribe button down below. And then um, after you do that, if you wanna be notified whenever I post up any videos, and I post about every other day, that's my average. Then um, yeah, click that bell. And that way you'll get a little ding whenever I upload videos and you'll know what I'm up to. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it. I don't know how long I went because I know some some creators set timers and I'm like, wow, y'all are good. I don't do that. I sh maybe I should, but it shouldn't be that structured, you know, not for me. So, uh, but yeah, I had that first clip and then I got interrupted and then I started up again. So I don't know how long I've been going, but either way, I enjoyed hanging out with y'all. This is like free therapy. I get everything off my chest. I get to take notes and just kind of talk about the week. It's so fun. Um, Y'all let me know, and I don't even think I asked. I'm so rude. Um, how are you? Y'all, I even have in my notes, how is everyone? <laughs> and I didn't even say it. Oh my gosh, I was talking about the rat. I got distracted. Um, Y'all, please let me know how you are. Hope you're doing okay. Hope everybody's staying safe. And um, yeah, let me know what you worked on during this live. And before I let y'all go, um, like I mentioned at the beginning, I am doing an event in July and I would love to have you guys. So all my future whip and chats will have um, prizes, giveaways for the next month. And in those whip and chats, I'll be asking for a keyword and you'll just have to type that word down in the comments in a sentence. And then it'll be open for a week. And then I'll, the following whip and chat, I'll be announcing the winner. And it's for, it's open to international and US. So be sure and subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I put those whip and chats up. But they always come out on Thursdays. So I'd love to have you guys join. It's, it's the Jasmine Beckett Griffith along. So if you have a JBG, that would be great. You can join us. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go check on Lou and see if she's still here or if she went to a friend's house. I'm almost finished with this. I just have to do a little more purple. And then, oh, I wish I could show y'all, but I've never used glow in the dark before. This is the first for me. But all the white center right here of these fireflies, these are all, and then right here, here, and it glows in the dark. I actually put my hands around it and I looked and you can actually see glowing. They actually work. So, so fun. Um, I've really had a good time with this painting. So Craftably's got some great stuff. Speaking of Craftably, um, if you are interested in ordering a Craftably canvas, I am an affiliate. So make sure you use my code, okay? If you're a first time uh, purchaser, all right? Save some money. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get out of here um, for real this time. Love you guys. Uh, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye, guys.